Well, dogs are a man's best friend. But to Amy, Coco the Whippet is a whole lot more than that. A trained assistance dog, Coco helps Amy live independently. But their life-saving relationship is at risk. Bull, you ready? <laughs> you ready? Go! For almost seven years, disability yeah, pensioner yeah. Amy Griglasina and her trusty sidekick Coco have been inseparable. <laughs> Good job. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. Good girl. At the ready? beach or in go. the park, Coco seems like your average whippet. Let's go. You got your stick? You got your stick? But behind her playful persona, she has a very important job. Time for work. Oh, she's my world. Um, I, I probably wouldn't even get out of bed without her. I have um, extreme anxiety, major depression, um, borderline personality disorder. I also have autism and ADHD. A fully trained assistance dog, Coco is Amy's independence, her support and her safety. Accompanying her to the shops, medical appointments, even on family holidays. Little Miss Coco, having a look around. Yeah. The assistance dogs make the difference for people with disability to be able to access the community, to be able to access public life and to be able to live a good life. Queensland Advocacy for Inclusion CEO, Matilda Alexander. They might alert a, a person with a disability um, to factors such as their heart rate increasing, be trained to perform specific tasks or provide general um, comfort. Visit. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, yes. Good if I girl. get really okay. distressed, I will need to sit down um, and then I'll say visit and then she sort of jumps up and is sort of in my face like, hey mum, I'm here. Like, <laughs> hey, what's wrong? I, how can I help? Assistance dogs like Coco are required to pass a public access test every three years to remain certified in Queensland, where Amy lives. All the paperwork gets sent off to the Queensland Government and they go, they look through it all and go, yep, 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 she's passed, all these things, tick, 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 tick. It assesses everything from their behaviour in public places to how they assist their owner. What would that be like for you if you got into one of those situations and, and she wasn't there? It's very messy. Um, it's, I feel really embarrassed um, because I'm sitting there in tears, like in the middle of nowhere, and no one understands what's, what's happening to me. But that's the very real prospect Amy's now facing after the company that initially trained Coco, Australian Companion and Assistance Dogs, shut down without warning. We've just been completely completely abandoned by our previous trainers, completely. While Coco's already passed two public access tests, her renewal is coming up in November. Trouble is, no other registered organisation will certify Coco unless she completes her assistance dog training through their company from scratch. That's tens of thousands of dollars. She doesn't need to be trained from the very beginning again. After calling nine training centres registered by the government only to be rejected, her 10th attempt did come through with an offer. We'd have to do the initial assessment, which is $300, and then we'd have to do training sessions at $180. Amy was told Coco would need up to five sessions before she can even apply for the public access test, which on its own costs $750. And I don't know how many other pensioners have $2,000 laying around. It's just beyond upsetting, you know. Under Queensland law, the Guide Hearing and Assistance Dog Act states it's a requirement to have your assistance dog accredited to be taken out in public. But there is another law which could help someone like Amy. I think the lack of um, consistency in this area leads to people getting the wrong information and the wrong advice, including from government. If she doesn't get certified by the 11th of November, then she is no longer able to be a service dog and go with me anywhere which will render me housebound because I don't leave my the house without my dog. What a lot of people don't realise, under the state and federal disability discrimination acts, assistance dogs are guaranteed access to all public places regardless of certification. You just need a doctor's certificate to show proof of your medical condition and how the dog alleviates it. 
It is important that these dogs are trained properly, but that can be done by individuals. Um, that can be done by professionals. I just encourage any, any person with a disability who needs an assistance animal to live their daily life and to get in contact with a lawyer or community legal service because you likely do have protections. She's my little buddy, aren't you? Your mummy's buddy. Well, we have put Amy in touch with disability advocate Matilda. They will be meeting to discuss her options and he's hoping they can find a way to keep Amy and Coco together.